We're a magical spiritual community here. We practice all sorts of forms of spiritual and personal development, including meditation, yoga, tea ceremonies. We have mind temescals to help sweat out what no longer serves us. We try and encourage everyone to bring their gifts to the table and any path is valid. And as many paths and styles of self-development that you can imagine, we can facilitate and assist in making those available to people. We follow a Peruvian medicine wheel, the south, which is the serpent, the west, which is the jaguar and puma, the north, which is the hummingbird, and the east, which is the eagle and condor. One of the most fascinating and beautiful aspects of this farm is how intimately connected we are with our local communities. Uh, the Mystical Yoga Farm oftentimes has three or four languages that are being spoken on site at any given day. And it's a really rich experience to be able to connect with people from many different cultures across the world. <laughs> Everyone is valid. Every path is valid. So we encourage everybody to bring their own wisdom, their own discoveries to the table. And, and so we all learn and share together. invite people to come and join us for three or four week experiences. Intensives which really allow people to dive into the practice of yoga and everything that that means. We include a wide variety, a wide array of perspectives on yoga. Our facilitators come from a very rich background, some of them practicing for decades. And they bring to the table a very fresh perspective where they honor that each person practices yoga individually, and yet when we practice together, it's like bringing many candle lights together and so we can feel the flame and feel that community fire. One of the primary uh, focuses that we have here at the Mystical Yoga Farm is to lead a sustainable lifestyle. And sustainability is a fundamental aspect of everything that we do. We design our life here at the farm around the concept of being sustainable, living lightly on the earth. We try and encourage an awareness for all of our guests, all of our students, that there are impacts from living on this earth. Our goal was to build a community that would be long-lasting. And one of the primary concepts in building a long-lasting community is to do so with intentionality. We utilize composting toilets on site. Our electricity comes from the sun. We're an off-grid community. We practice water conservation. All of these things and more tie together to increase our sustainability and reduce our impact on the environment. The concept of permaculture is creating a community that has longevity, that doesn't have to constantly be deconstructed and rebuilt in order to meet the immediate needs. And so we've spent quite a lot of time discussing how do we build this space? How do we enhance our experience here? How do we decrease our impact? And how do we increase our awareness about how we are playing a role in this world?
the impacts that I have in my immediate surrounding do have effect beyond my physical body, beyond Lago Atitlan, Guatemala, and out to the world. And in this way, we can see that sustainability leads into a spiritual understanding of unity. I am intimately connected with everything around me, whether it's close or distant. And so taking this concept of permaculture, of sustainability, and really embodying it, making it a part of our everyday life, becomes a spiritual practice because it does connect us with the entire world and everybody around us. We're a community with open arms and open hearts. And we are a community here. And even if you come for just a few days, we know that you'll leave changed and be a part of our community forever. <laughs>